Hi, I'm Stephen Kinchelik. I'm excited to walk you through all the features of our brand new Movie Magic Scheduling To Go. When you first launch Movie Magic Scheduling To Go, you'll get a screen that gives you some instructions on how to get a schedule into the application. Emailing a schedule to yourself is the easiest because it launches the application automatically and loads the schedule. Or you can hit the plus button in the upper left hand corner to get a list of files that have been synced with iTunes. Click on the name of the file that you want to open. The file will start loading. Depending on your file size, it may take up to a minute to load your file. If this is the first time you've loaded the file, it will have version 1 listed. Click on that version and you'll get a list of strip boards that are contained within the file. Touch the name of the strip board to have the strip board displayed. You can scroll through the strip board by touching and dragging up or down. Touch on any of the strips to have them expand and show the breakdown sheet information. You can touch the image well icon to have the image well displayed, and if there are images attached to the breakdown sheet, you can touch the thumbnails to have an expanded view. Down below, you can touch any of the categories to have the elements listed within displayed. If any of those elements have red flags, touch the red flag to get the red flag information. Once you're done looking at the breakdown sheet information, either touch the strip again or hit the close button up at the top to collapse the strip. On the strip board, if you see a red flag, you can touch it to get the red flag information. To switch between the strip board and the boneyard, touch the boneyard tab at the bottom. To get back, touch the strip board tab. A brand new feature in scheduling is the information button. Touch the eye icon in the lower right hand corner to get a schedule summary. and It'll give you a total of the script pages, total shooting days, and the last shooting day in that schedule. Up at the top, touch the design icon to see all the different layouts that are in the schedule. Currently, MMS to go only handles horizontal layouts. Touch the calendar icon to get a list of all the calendars that are in the schedule. To go into edit mode, touch the edit icon. In edit mode, you can move strips around by grabbing the handle on the right hand side and dragging them up or down. You can select strips by clicking on the select circles on the left hand side of the strips. If you want to select a whole day's worth of strips, select the end of day banner and it will select all the strips above it up until the previous day. Down below, those selected strips can either be moved to the boneyard or you can delete the day breaks and banners within those selected strips. Touch the delete button and you'll get a confirmation message. Note that regular strips cannot be deleted, only day breaks and banners. In the lower right hand corner, there's a plus button that allows you to add text banners and daybreaks. To add a daybreak, touch and drag the daybreak strip to the desired position on the strip board. To add a banner, hit the plus button again and touch and drag a banner strip onto the strip board. Once you let go, a screen will appear asking you to add the banner information. You can add banner text and optionally you can add time associated with that banner. When finished with all your edits, hit the Done button. If you're finished editing your schedule completely and you want to send the schedule back to the desktop, hit the Share button. There's options there to email the file back to yourself or save it to the disk to sync back with iTunes. Either option will ask you to give the file a name. Once you've done that, hit the Done button. If you've chosen email, a message screen will appear where you can put in the details and send the file off. If you'd like to send us some feedback, you can send that to productfeedback at entertainmentpartners.com. Also, be sure to check entertainmentpartners.com for our community page, where you can find ways to connect with us through our social networks. Thanks for watching.